Hey everyone, and welcome. Today we're diving into Kling AI's latest update, the Virtual Try-On feature. This tool lets you effortlessly change the outfits on your model. Oh, and by the way, there's a Black Friday sale happening right now, 50% off your yearly subscription. If you're interested, now's the time to check it out. The Try-On feature is under the AI Images section in a tab called AI Virtual Try-On. Let's explore how it works. Here's the interface. Click on Guideline for tips on achieving the best results. Key details include keeping image sizes under 50 megabytes with dimensions between 512px and 4096px. You can upload a single garment or multiple garments like a top and bottom. You'll also need to select a model, either from Kling's recommendations or upload your own. Checking the guidelines beforehand is a great way to ensure smooth results. To start, I'm using an image I created in mid-journey. I went with a model on a plain white background, but you can choose something more creative. First, I'll upload a single garment. After uploading, select the garment type, top, bottom, or dress slash suit. For this example, I uploaded an image of a dress and paired it with a stunning model. I chose to generate two images. There's no need for more in this case. It costs 10 credits. The results are fantastic. The dress fits perfectly on the model, and her look stays consistent with the original image. Clicking on the generated image reveals options like upscale, image as a reference for other creations, expand, though this might not stay free, and bring to life among other features. Let's test another outfit. I'll admit I'm no fashion expert, but this one looks great. The shoes might not be the perfect match, but hey, fashion is subjective. Let's bring this image to life. The video generator interface loads with the selected image, and the prompt is pre-filled with a description for a model turning to showcase the outfit. I'll stick with the default settings for now. The first attempt wasn't great. Her head moved like something out of The Exorcist. On the second try, I added a negative prompt, and it turned out much better. From my experience, adding a negative prompt improves video quality most of the time. Sometimes Kling may identify individual pieces of an uploaded garment, as shown in this example. In my experience, if you want to apply the entire garment, you can select either recognition result, but ensure you choose dress suit as the type. As you can see, the full garment was successfully applied to the model, although interestingly, her hair appears longer in the result. Here are the generated results for both the bottom and top. Now I'll test out multiple garments, starting with a chunky sweater paired with blue jeans. It looks exactly how I thought it would. This next example is interesting because the top garment is a jacket with a checkered lining. The first result interpreted it as a checkered shirt under the jacket, while the second gave her a white shirt instead, which arguably complements the outfit better. Now let's switch things up with some fun cosplay outfits. For this example, I chose a sleek leather jumpsuit with neon highlights. Nice, very cyberpunk. I want to create a video using this image, but this time I'm aiming for a wide format video. To achieve that, I'll use the expand feature to widen the image. My prompt placed her in a dark urban setting with neon signs, advertisements, and sparks flying around. Did you notice the white flash at the beginning of the video? That's because the original image had a white background. Aside from that, the result turned out well, but I wanted to give her more action than just standing still. In the next attempt, I prompted her to walk, but she ended up walking backward, and her eyes looked a bit odd. I adjusted the prompt to have her walking forward instead, and this time, the result was fantastic. Let's fix the white flash at the beginning of the videos, which happens because the input image has a white background. To address this, we'll create a new image with the desired background, using the original image as a reference. My prompt described a cyberpunk woman warrior flying across a dark city. 
The reference strength, which controls how much the original image influences the result, can be adjusted. For this attempt, I kept the strength at the default setting and modified the aspect ratio to better suit the scene. The images turned out visually impressive, but the outfits didn't match the reference image as closely as I'd hoped. To improve the results, I tweaked the image reference settings, but unfortunately the outcomes were still inconsistent, with neither the woman nor the outfit aligning well with the original concept. Instead, let's try Midjourney. I began with its C-Ref feature, and this prompt. While one image showed some consistency, the overall results weren't quite what I was aiming for, likely because the original image wasn't generated in Midjourney. Let's see if we can get better results with the image editor. To access it, click Edit on the sidebar. Now select New, then choose Edit Uploaded Image. Using the Retexture tool, along with this prompt. If you're not familiar with this tool, be sure to check out this video. It worked as expected, and the background was successfully updated, but unfortunately the woman's appearance also changed. To fix this, I used the original image as a character reference. After a couple of attempts, I achieved a great result. I created this image using the try-on feature, showcasing our model in an elegant evening gown. However, the boots she's wearing don't quite match the outfit, so I'll fix that in the editor. First, I'll erase the boots, and then prompt for a suitable pair of shoes. Typically, out of the four generated options, at least one turns out to be satisfactory. With the new shoes, our model looks stunning, but I want to enhance her expression by adding a smile. After a few attempts, I discovered that the best results came from using the original image as a character reference, erasing just the mouth area, and then prompting for a smiling expression. The outcome is a natural and beautifully refined look. Finally, let's return to Kling and create a video of our model in outer space using the image we previously edited in mid-journey. Here's the result. Absolutely stunning. That's Kling AI's virtual try-on feature in action. Honestly, I'm impressed with how powerful and creative this tool is. One thing I'd love to see in future updates is the ability to add accessories like hats or jewelry to complete the looks. Please share your comments below and let us know what you think. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.